Welcome back to another MLB offseason video, and in this video, I have a couple topics to talk about. One of them, it's the latest on Shohei Otani from Jeff Passan of ESPN, so when he's talking, you want to listen, especially for these Shohei updates, because that is the story of the offseason. Every time there's a new update, it has to be reported about Shohei Otani, because it's going to be one of the biggest free agent sweepstakes in MLB history. So basically, getting into that, Jeff Passan said that Shohei Otani has, quote, expressed affinity for the Dodgers, Red Sox, and Rangers. Now, it's not saying that he's just narrowing his list down to these three teams, but maybe if all the offers are the same, these are the three teams that he'd like the most. We heard from MLB Network and John Morosi that he's intrigued by a team like the Atlanta Braves because of their chance to contend, but maybe with the stuff that the other teams are doing, he could see the same in them. The LA Dodgers, they've been contending the last couple years. I mean, they've had a long length of contention. They won that World Series in 2020, but but they definitely want to get another one to add to that resume. And they've been winning in the regular season all the time, but maybe if they add a Shohei Otani, then they could be a player away if they even need it to make them World Series contenders. As far as the Red Sox, it seems like Shohei Otani has always enjoyed playing at Fenway Park. He's always spoken highly about the Red Sox organization. Then the Texas Rangers, this one would be possibly the most interesting because he'd be staying in the division, seeing the Angels 14 times a year. That would be fascinating. And then joining the team that just won the World Series this year. So I don't know if this is necessarily the finalist for Shohei Otani, but the Dodgers, Red Sox, and Rangers are definitely three teams that are serious contenders to land the two-way unicorn superstar. And for the next part of this video, I'm going to be talking about the San Francisco Giants because last offseason, the San Francisco Giants were a big story of the offseason, but not in the way they wanted to. They thought they landed Aaron Judge, then they thought they landed Carlos Correa, and instead, they came away with an offseason haul that included included re-signing Jock Peterson, they got Michael Conforto, got Mitch Hanniger, got a couple guys like Ross Stripling and Sean Manaya who didn't exactly pan out great for them, but basically they were going star hunting last offseason, they came away with some solid players, Michael Conforto, he had a solid year, he opted into that player option so they'll have him back, but at some point they just need one of those stars, because the San Francisco Giants, I feel like they're widely respected as one of the better organizations in the league, they're very well run, they always have some solid players, whether there was this year when they called up Patrick Bailey and almost made a run at the postseason or that 107 win season where it seems like they didn't have any superstar players besides Buster Posey and Logan Webb but they just got the job done and they won but now if they can add a star that could add to the middle of the lineup or the top of the rotation that could help a lot and a couple stars that are linked to them one of them is Cy Young Award winner two-time two Cy Young Award winner Blake Snell he just got announced as two-time last night so he could be of interest to the San Francisco Giants if you're talking about the pitching front that could create a lethal one-two punch of Logan Webb and Blake Snell and then also as far as position players Matt Chapman he had some up and down months last year but he's looking to get north of 150 million and the Giants can be of interest to him he played in the Bay Area with the A's starting his career so he's familiar with there then the other one is Cody Bellinger he could be returning to the division where he faces the Dodgers every year that would be fascinating hopefully Cody Bellinger can keep up that performance from last year he's also going to surpass 100 150 million on his contract and it's widely regarded that teams like the Giants, Cubs, and Yankees are the favorites for him. So let me know what you guys think. Who should the Giants get this offseason?